How's it going, folks? Today we're checking out Pale Face Swiss, Please End Me. Honestly, probably the most relatable song title I've ever heard. Like, especially after today, I had a long ass day at work. So, uh, hopefully, this just slams me in the face and I just forget everything that happened today. That would be absolutely fantastic. But, um, no, I actually haven't listened to Pale Face before. So, I'm really curious to hear what they're going to sound like. I've heard people compare them to like an extremely heavy version of Slipknot. So, Probably not exactly like that, but more just like the new metal side of things. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Um, but that's just random things I've heard like on Facebook and wherever people talk about stuff. So yeah, I'm really curious to hear what this sounds like. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Warning, flashing lights and disturbing sequences. Let's go. Definitely feeling the new metal, especially the drums. Oh. From the bottom of the bottle to the top of the sky, to me, boy, I should have kept my side. And me. Why you think I'm so big, I'm a ho? Swear the love, the blessed side, the red man, spread it. I wish the best of fucking die, but I cannot. I'm a cop, I'm a cop, I'm a fucking face, I'll let you walk my blood. So I'm a cop, I'm a fucking face, I'll let you walk my fucking blood. Motherfucker! That is Groove Central, man. <laughs> Man's got some bars, alright. So he's about fight the IRS. Fuck your taxes. Hey yo. I have a fucking problem. Me too, man. They're not. No, no, they couldn't do that. Jesus Christ, wash yourself off. I also love how they're doing the virtual insanity fucking Jamiroquai music video on the moving floor. God damn. When in doubt, slow it down. Oh. Oh. Alright. Someone ended them, guys. I, I think we found out the answer. Holy shit. Um, that slapped. So, Pale Face Swiss, please end me. That was really sick. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, actually, it was quite a bit different from what I was expecting it to sound like when people were talking about, like, a really heavy Slipknot. I mean, you, you got some of that there. You got some new metal vibes, of course. You know, I mean, the drums were a big one, but the vocals. Uh, I mean, just, like, that flow was something else. I love it. Um, so I really really enjoyed that the execution though actually to me felt a little bit more hardcore I don't know if it's because I've been listening to a lot of knock loose lately, so that's been like stuck in my head That's all I can think about but um like knock loose after hearing them I've been in that hardcore mindset and this gave me a lot of that uh, Energy that I found in like or find in knock loose and other hardcore bands boundaries Kublai Khan things like that it, It's just really pissed off 
So I think this can kind of fall into the hardcore side as well. Uh, but then it's got more of the deathcore sensibilities as far as some of the songwriting choices and like the breakdown and everything. Some of the riffage is a little bit more in that deathcore vein to me at least. Uh, I mean, subgenres and sub subgenres are really confusing and they don't mean that much to be honest. I mean, it's just like, do you like the music? Yes. Sick. But I think it helps kind of identify some of the different sounds in the song, so I guess there's some purpose. But anyway, getting back into this, um, I really, really enjoyed this. I mean, everything from, like I said, the flow of the vocalist, uh, the drums were just off the wall, they're just going crazy, but they're really holding down a really good groove. It wasn't just speedy drums, like, there was a purpose behind it. Um, and the riffage, the riffage was sick. Uh, one of the things I really liked that I noticed was, um, the lead guitar at some parts almost gave me a little bit of Slayer vibes a little bit, and, you know, it was kind of going back to, like, the older school, like, thrash and everything. Um, really, really enjoyed that. Kind of felt like a callback to me. But this track is just filled with energy and anger. So pissed off. I mean, you know, it's called Please End Me. Not really surprised. Uh, and I mean, literally, like, the logo for this band has a noose. So, wow, that's crazy. Who would expect that? No, but uh, I thoroughly enjoy this. In the music video. <laughs> oh, my God. The virtual insane Jamiroquai fucking moving the floor. Just, like, screaming. Bleeding, rearranging corpses. <laughs> just gotta love it. But uh, no, this track is really solid. I have absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. I thought it was really sick. Definitely gonna add this to my playlist right once their <laughs> playlist. Oh my gosh. Once I finish this video up, um, yeah, super dope. But what'd you guys think about this track? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. And if you have any recommendations, leave that down below as well. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, you guys take it easy.